Well, hello and welcome back. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and we're back on Technician's Survival 2 again. So, hey, welcome. And today is nothing but farming. So, sit back, enjoy, and let's do a bit of farming. Uh, first things first, now let's show you here what we've got set up today for farming. We've got a couple little areas set up over here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna farm right through here. So I figure this will be nice here and here, um, as we're finding out with nutrition. There's some things we need, and uh, and I think it's a good start. Um, kind of about uh, we're getting to that point where we're gonna need a little bit better food. Uh, we've lived off berries and and rotten flesh, and if you notice here, my hearts and my nutrition have actually dropped because. Our dairy is dropped so we're gonna have to get some cows over here and work some other things but uh, but yeah so we have a lot of seeds here we've got our corn we've got other things but before we get this I want to hit our fish trap again because this has been a lot of fun because um, <laughs> it's actually just crazy to think about all the stuff that we're getting out of it I got a salmon oh beautiful uh, I got salmon three muck puffer fish and a salmon out of that not horrible and uh, we still got bait in it so I think uh, I think we'll let it go it's a little slow and I think it's got I'm not for sure of the inventory size of it I probably need to ask Ansar what the inventory size looks like but uh, I'm not gonna complain too much we've got that and a little other puffer fish and yeah, the muck is always good uh, that and there okay good um, I'd add two more chests. I'm getting so much crap here. I got a sweeping edge. Look at all this junk. We got efficiency, iron, pickaxe, and everything. So they're all, oh, and then even this, Ender, I don't know, I can't pronounce it, but we got this cool interfood from Ender.io, so it's it's good. So uh, first things first, let's first start with, let's, uh, yeah, let's go out and we're gonna hoe the ground out here and we're gonna get the seeds planted here. So. Uh, we're gonna get our corn planted. We've got some uh, some seeds. Uh, we've got a little hemp, little chili peppers. Uh, we'll plant those. I'm not a big fan of them. Tomato plants. Uh, we got corn, carrot. I'm sorry, potatoes and carrots, and that's about it. Um, I don't have any pumpkin seeds. I have some for melon. Um, and these grape seeds, we'll do that towards the very end uh, as we, as we kind of finalize that. But uh, but here, yeah, let's we, let's let we, let's let's do this today. I know this might be a little uh, it seems a little little boring, baby. But uh, we're gonna get we'll make this worthwhile here in the in a second here for y'all. All right, I promise. Uh, we'll we'll make something, and then we're gonna what we're gonna do is get this set, and then what we can do. Is the goal is is to kind of get something that can uh, can help speed this up a bit here, and I've kind of been looking at some things, and I think I've got the answer. It's in uh, one of those mods that we've we've played with a lot that we kind of really enjoy here. So uh, down here, let's get just a really nice, beautiful wheat field going, and uh, we're just gonna throw this out here. Ah, cool! We got us ourselves a a, a a little bit of what do you call that? We got us an achievement. So that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way with this. Um, we're not gonna be able to do these just yet. We're gonna have to wait. Uh, I'd like to place the hemp. Um, I think along the back here. I don't have a lot of it, so we're gonna just have to let it kind of grow as we go. Um, and then I think we'll do potatoes and carrots in here. So uh, potatoes here and carrots will go here. So. That's it. That's a start for right there for that. And then up top here, we're gonna put some corn and uh, what's some uh, some other things we can think about here. Oh, hey, we got some more hemp. <laughs> there we go. So check that out. That's cool. Uh, just as we get ready to talk about it, and we get more stuff. So uh, immersive engineering's in here, but but hemp has always kind of been one of those things that so useful and and versatile when it comes to like making string and other things. So I thought figured. It, why not get a little bit of that going here and this kind of up here maybe this is a kind of a higher area here so we'll start a little bit of hemp here and then I'm really wanting to get my corn going here so I think maybe like what right there sweet and that's about all I got for in here um, maybe down here yeah let's see what else do we got 
We'll do tomatoes, and these chili peppers are just hot as I'll get out. I eating them just kill me for some reason. But uh, but this should look pretty decent down here when we get all that growing. Now I've planted them in rows like this, and I'm not 100% sure, but I've done some research on this before when we were playing some of that Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. And they said to plant your farms like this. Don't put them all together, but run them in rows and then run them so that they're like this. So, like, this guy won't grow as fast as, say, this one here because it's, well, let's use this one. Because there's three blocks of, of farm around it. We'll see. Um, I truly don't know. But let's get to, bit. let's get to, like, accelerate in our farm here and uh, let's grab a little bit of wood here I've got uh, where is it at here we go 32 pieces of this and we're looking at what we'd really like to do here is some apiaries here some rustic apiaries which is like this which is pretty cool um, should be pretty simple a little bit of uh, oh, 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 oh we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to go find a die hmm. That shouldn't be too tough. Why? Because I've kept this blue piece right here. So uh, that'll give us eight pieces. That'll be enough for four, at least right now, to get this one too. And then we'll use our obsidian saw on that. That'll give us, look at that. It gives us 12. So we can run these guys around this way. And if I go here, whoa. What you, what you going to require us to do here? Jungle wood, magenta painted wood, orange wood, pink painted Oh my goodness gracious, how much of this do we got? White painted, yellow painted, great wood, thump, ironwood planks, U planks. You know what? I might have just been stupid in thinking we have to do that. Let's try here and here and then go something like this. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So we're going to take all of those five right now. Now, the, the, the thing about an apiary here is is that uh, let's grab some bees which are right I did not grab those so they're right here uh, I'm only got two which is okay um, but we'll get them started and then we'll uh, be able to get the rest of them going um, do I have any let me grab a piece of sand or a piece of dirt or something like that too so yeah there we go piece of sand Ooh, piece of sand uh, but the apiaries will increase growth, um, accelerate the, the tick requirements here um, as they happen around these guys. And the cool thing about these is, is that we can go here like this. Oh, well, uh, like that. All right, cool. Now I'm just going to place them on top of my... There we go. Check that out. Okay. And then we'll place him here. Now he'll start to increase and we'll get honeycomb out of it too. Uh, but they will do a 4x4... Four um, four blocks from at any any point of this thing so that's that's pretty impressive actually when you think about it so this should get one to it, it'll grow all the way out there uh, we're not going to need it that far but we'll uh, we'll take this and, and let it go so there we go and those two and then we're gonna do the same thing up top here and these guys won't be able to grow just yet until we get some bees but I think that I'll be all right with uh, without that. So, hey, the other thing is, is I finally I created ourselves an obsidian shovel in between episodes here. Um, it was something I wanted to do, and uh, so I went got some more obsidian the way we had done it. Actually, I didn't really need to because I now have an obsidian pickaxe. So I was like, all right, well, easy, 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 right? So it wasn't too bad. So we've got those four. And now these guys, they'll go one, two, three, four. And this guy will go one, two, three, four. So all this stuff in the middle should grow real fast, hopefully. Um, we'll find out. But you can see how quickly this stuff is starting to grow. And the second we get a second bee out of these guys, man, we're gonna we're gonna be we'll be good. Now, Mr. Ansar, uh, the developer of the pack, has not changed the configs. So it's it's generic uh, and and what uh, Rustic has in it. So that's that's gonna be a good thing. These will also one, two. So we go one, two, three, four, and they'll go up a block too. So uh, vertically, they'll actually affect all the way out to here. These guys in here, and then these guys here should actually affect out to here too. So that's pretty cool to think about that it's going to go all the way that far out. Um, and then they'll overlap each other too. So like the goal would be here to, to come in here, and we can place one here, and... Uh, and then we can do a couple little things like maybe place this guy up here on top and you know 
know, maybe our torch is up higher here. So, and then the goal would be to kind of, we'll go in and we'll go do some more and we'll get, uh, we'll do at the corners. And I don't think I can, I think I was not smart enough to do it. Um, I didn't leave this as an odd number. It's a, it's an even number across. So we'll, uh, we'll have to deal with that. But, uh, I think if we go one here, one at that edge here, there, and there, this is going to be one heck of a quick growing garden. Look at this, how quick this stuff is already going. And if I got a second B, there we go. Do I have a second B here yet? Yes, I do. So guess what? Now we have uh, these guys up here working too. So it's uh, <laughs> it's really crazy. Now the honey is really good too because the honey we can use for some elixirs and other things that come out of rustic. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about how that'll work. Let's uh, let's create let's craft ourselves. How many more of these do we gonna need? We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five more of these. So that shouldn't be too bad. I think that's about what another stack. Or another half stack which yeah it should be good so let's see here open thank you perfect and how are we looking here okay what do we had uh one two and boom boom there we go all right there and there and perfect five more so we'll get these placed and, and then as the bees keep producing, we'll kind of keep adding to this. And I think this should work pretty decently. So let's pull this out because as we break, I don't really want to break the torches. I hate turning them back on. So you can snag the torches straight up. Uh, it's one of the nice things about uh, Primal Core. Is you can you can take it oh, there and here. You can uh, shift right click on the... Uh, on these guys on the torches and it'll actually pick them up while they're still lit so it's kind of a nice functionality of it so there and here oh wrong shift there we go perfect and let's see if we can do this here there come on back up in here come on stinker there we go see if i can do that without getting burned these stinking primal core torches not only can you pick them up but oh uh, yeah they, they catch you on fire so <laughs> What a pain, huh? Not really. It's, it's actually pretty cool to think about that. There's actually some consequences for not not having good torch placement for once. So now I'm not, the reason I'm doing this up on top here is what I'm concerned about is zombies jumping up over into this. Now they may not be able to do that, but I'm, I just don't want to take that chance. You know, we've we're gonna work pretty hard here in our garden, and I would really hate to have to. You know have zombies and everything else trample in our garden so that's kind of why I think I like this so now those should be doing pretty good here let's see if these guys yep there's one how about you you got some in here yep you do too okay and we can go here and here now that we really probably should place one here in the middle somewhere We'll see how things are, are working here with it, but uh, these guys have some. Yep, and you have some too. Yeah, you do. Cool. So then we can go ahead and go here, there, and here. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> look at this. We got a garden and it's growing. Um, it's not gonna. It's not. These aren't gonna be super fast, but uh, they are gonna be faster than normal, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, it will get us a little bit of better return. I'm really just wanting some stuff. I mean, we need some wheat. We need other things. What I'm really excited about is getting a, uh, a cooking for blockheads um, kitchen set up. But we are kind of uh, we're kind of behind the power curve when it comes to that. Because if we look at here, what we're not going to have is, is to make this uh, cooking for blockheads two. We're going to need two diamonds, and I have not run into diamonds yet at all. So. Ooh, we're going to have to find those, which not going to be too horribly bad, but um, it, it is going to be, a it is going to take a little bit of time here. So I think they should be able to finish out all of our bees here because these guys have bees, right? I think the last ones we've got are these guys back here. So boom, there's bees there and here's bees here. There we go. So perfect and look at this now with those apiaries up here we just have to watch it but uh we should be able to run through here and not oops 
<laughs> and, and not not run into any, too many problems here. There we go. Now we can get out of it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's. A, I don't know what else we're gonna do today. Um, well, I can show you this over here, uh, but uh, this currently is going to is the early stages of what we're going to be working on here very soon which is the brand new and i mean brand new kitsu's forge craft so we got a whole area set up over here uh that we're going to kind of get into and it's 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 slowly coming along but uh but yeah it's it's that's probably what we're going to be working on hopefully next time and we're going to move a lot of our primal core stuff that we've got over underneath there we'll have some sort of little shaded area somewhere to protect ourselves so that we can work there in the even time frames and we don't have anything major to run into so but hey with that i'm gonna leave this one a little bit shorter today because uh this is really kind of what i set up i wanted to get done i really thought we needed to get ourselves um our, ourselves set up with a farm and it's not bad oh 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 we cannot just leave just yet we have two more things three more things we gotta plant I can't believe I just about said forget it, ladies and gentlemen, and you all would have beat me down because I told you at the beginning we were going to do some couple things at the, towards the end here. Rustic, first thing we need to do is a wooden stake. Wooden stake is just three blocks like this. Um, we should be able to do, let's go, I got one wooden stake here, so we're going to need a little bit more wood. Shouldn't be a horrible thing. Let's grab like this much here. Uh, we've got uh, tomatoes and chili peppers, so we'll want to do these guys here too. So that's that's a lot of wood right there. <laughs> Look at this, chick, 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 boom. All right, cool, 13. So let's go and uh, we're gonna grow some of these chili peppers, and we can we can set those down. We're gonna have to set this first, and then and then we'll uh, we can set these in. We're not gonna do a lot of the chili peppers. We'll probably do just one row here of uh, of things. And probably just do this like right here. Actually, probably in the middle. Go here, 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 and there, and there. Oh, oh, I can't. I can barely sneak through there. Oh, that's kind of crazy. So, uh, we'll do half chili peppers, or not even half. We're gonna do uh, one, two, and then because I, I don't know what chili peppers are used for. Let's just look real quick here. Uh, aloe vera. No, 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 no. Chili peppers. There we go. Um, blazing trails yeah I don't think I'm gonna make much of that by the way so we'll uh, we'll stick to the tomatoes so what way you do this is you just make sure you click on with you've got to be on farmland you have to have the uh, wooden stakes here and then uh, you just kind of plant against them so easy enough like that sweet all right those are working okay and the next thing I, I told you guys we would do is plant some grapes and so we're gonna plant grapes here today because I want to get ourselves our vineyard started and what how much do I have left I have five that's yeah I don't know if that's gonna be enough either way let's see if I can let's see if I have any normal wood around here nope I have a bunch of split stuff uh, yeah let's try this I think I need six I might be wrong but but we'll figure this out so uh, here we go here we go let's use this and here here oh perfect it does work okay the next thing we're gonna need is a little bit of string and let's grab string and it should be just like this one two three and that gives us 12 pieces of rope awesome and let's grab our grape seeds and we're gonna now go and start our vineyard i absolutely love the way that these things look and i think it's gonna look really really cool here as we start laying this out so to give you guys kind of an idea of kind of the master plan right now we've got our little area over here that we're gonna do our blacksmithing and our forge craft um we've got our gardens back here um i'm thinking that we're gonna do down in here i'm gonna do a little pond and i've kind of got this poop pulled out here I need to get some more sand and, and, and other things but I'm thinking maybe here on the back side here we do uh, we do a little vineyard here so I think this may be kind of cool let's uh let's see here um, I, yeah um, I don't know let's <laughs> well 
we can start it and then from there we can get we can finish working on it so we're gonna go here and then we need to go uh, these guys are gonna go one here there and then here and here and then if I remember right I think we come here 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 and here there okay now that was the rope that I placed now we place that there let's see, we'll see if we have a little bone meal if we can get that thing to grow a little bit quicker here but this is it this is cool and uh, bone meal I know I have a little bit there we go this might not be enough but we'll find out here quick <laughs> real quick hopefully but they just they just absolutely beautiful look to them I, I love the look of these oh there we go there we go there we go come on oh perfect look at that and then there we go perfect look at that we got more grapes come here awesome and now that will turn back into more grape seeds and we can do something like uh go here and then let's see one two and there 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 and we'll replant so yeah, 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 I just absolutely love the look of these. And they look really, really cool once we get a whole bunch of them together. And I'm thinking that we'll kind of grow a couple over here to kind of get them going. But I'm thinking that they kind of run over here and we run a backstop of, of these beautiful grapes on the backside over here. So that's kind of the thought I'm thinking. Um, I may have to, to figure out how to get in between them to harvest them because it may be a little tight. I may have to go at least two place them on the front and then come one back and then go up so I'll have some terraforming back over here but that that's all going to include a river and a, and a waterfall down into uh, into a new lake that we're gonna have out here so yeah, 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 yeah I'm pretty excited this is this is turning out to be a lot of fun already and um, I think this is gonna be a this is gonna be a nice time if we keep the server up <laughs> if it doesn't crash horribly on us like it some of these have uh, either way if it does oh well but uh hey with that look at this look at our beautiful garden it's it is beautiful but with that i, I want to say thank you all i do appreciate you and stay tuned because we've got more stuff coming forge craft uh we haven't even touched this the surface of anything we haven't even started mining yet to think about it ladies and gentlemen so we've got a lot of stuff coming up uh but as always i do appreciate you thank you and we'll catch you all again very, very soon.